Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lash Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. Uh, so I do get a lot of questions related with the when should we separate the pups on the mother plant. Now guys, ideally when you have a pup, a mother plant like this with a lot of pups, I would say wait for some time as we have already spoken about this uh, multiple times that you have to wait for the pups to reach a decent size. Now over here as you can see this pup is of a decent size, probably it must be 2 centimeters or probably less than 2 centimeters. so I have to wait. What you can do is you can clear off all the dry leaves. Now what happens is when the mother plant starts to pull out a uh, or starts to push out uh, pups uh, the area around the pups uh, the leaves will start to turn dry so it's very important that you uh, clear off those uh, leaves now if the leaves are fresh you can definitely let it uh, callous and uh, you can use them for propagation now over here let me pull this out now this one uh, is not going to get propagated because you can see it's already starting to turn yellow uh, it does not have much uh, hope of putting out a pup but to be on the safer side, it's okay to keep it aside and uh, hope if it tends to propagate. If not, it's absolutely fine. But always ensure that you give a chance for each of those uh, mother leaves to propagate. In case if they don't, it's absolutely fine. But if they do, at times they do propagate. But over here, as you can see, this one is uh, a little bit damaged, uh, a little bit dried and uh, it had a little bit of sunburn over here. So this might not propagate. But uh, we want to give enough space for the pups to grow. You can see this, uh, they are kind of getting uh, congested. So all we can do is just take out those leaves. But you have to ensure that you do not water it right away because remember, we have pulled out, even though these are dry leaves, we are pulling out the dry leaves. It is still going to leave a cuts on the stem. So we do not want to wet. Now you can see it has given a little bit of good space for this pup to grow. But unfortunately we cannot take out that pup right away because it's very small. It will not be able to survive on its own. So it has to be attached to its uh, mother stem for some time until it reaches at least 2 centimeters or 2.5 centimeters. So uh, you again can see. So there are going to be a lot of dry leaves. We need to very carefully take them out without uh, damaging the other leaves or the stem. So try to take out all of those dry leaves and uh, giving enough space for the pups to grow. You can see there are multiple, Pro most probably this is a bloom because it's very closer to the uh, crown area. So it could be a bloom again over here. This could be a bloom because they are very close to the crown area. But these will be the pups because they are very low. I think there is some dirt on it. Let me clear it up. And it's very important to clean it up as well. After you have done taking out all of the dry leaves, just blow off all the excess dirt from the leaves. And uh, it's very important that you wait for some time because a lot of times uh, the ones that are closer to the crown area are usually the blooms. The pups usually tend to grow on the lower portion. As you can see, this is the lower portion of the succulent. So it is growing very close to the ground and here as well you can see the ones that are on the lower portion of the stem are usually the pups the ones that grow closer to the crown area are uh, mostly uh, blooms but again it's always better to wait for some time but it's always better to wait for some time don't be in a hurry to chop it off just because it's a bloom wait for some time until you start noticing the buds then just go out and uh, cut it off because right now you can see they are very very tiny it's very uh, uh, difficult to determine whether they are pups or blooms but as i've said anything that grows closer to the crown area is 99% uh, a bloom so so all we have to do is just wait for them to reach uh, because as and when the blooms start to grow they tend to put out a long stem and then we can quickly cut it off right now even if it's a bloom i cannot cut it because it's quite fused with the succulent the mother plant so it's very difficult to separate it right away so it's always better to wait uh, for them to reach at least a little bit more in uh, the inches so that you can easily cut off the bloom stalk so this is how you can take care of your succulent don't pull it out don't pull out the uh, pups right away just clean off the dry leaves so that it's giving enough space for the pups to grow as you can see there were a couple of uh, dry leaves around the uh, pup so i am separating it and then as and when this pup is going to reach another couple of centimeters i will separate it from the mother plant so 
at times it's little difficult to get rid of those dry leaves but it's very important because uh, the more dry leaves are present on the succulent the much chances that there are going to be pests hiding in luckily there are no pests on this succulent it's absolutely clean uh, just couple of ants around but uh, it's absolutely clean uh, there are no mealy bugs as of now so i have pretty much cleared all of the dry leaves from this uh, pup and now uh, as and when it will reach another few centimeters i will separate it from the mother plant so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep planting